in this video i will cover the transformer transformer uh, impedance basically based on the transformer rating what will be the uh, impedance and more specifically uh, if it is that wnn wnf transformer so depending on that uh, base mba transformer mba how the impedance will uh, get changed how to do that manually and if you have the oem data that's okay uh, but if you don't have the uh, oem data or that uh, you know that uh, transformer test impedance or you have the onan rating uh, impedance but you don't have the onf rating uh, impedance of the transformer then how to continue the uh, power system study and uh, obviously uh, there will be the difference uh, between the you know uh, during the uh, preliminary stage uh, during the initial initial days of the project whenever you are designing uh, a power system network and uh, after receiving the oem data particular that uh, test uh, test report of the uh, equipment so definitely there must be some difference so how to handle this how to manage uh, it in a proper way i will uh, discuss uh, briefly in this video maybe it will be helpful uh, so definitely there will be some uh, value addition if you uh, watch this video till the end you will get something okay so let's start suppose for this transformer if we go to the transformer tab a here go to the rating page rating page this is 7.5 mba transformer base mba is also 7.5 mba okay so you can put the user defined mba or the deleted mba okay so i am coming to this point okay so if it is uh, actually this is uh, this is defined uh, that uh, liquid field liquid field transformer so if the class is wnn onf so i believe you know uh, already know this oil natural air natural and wnf is oil natural air force so this is the uh, by force cooling the transformer uh, rating will be uh, improved during that uh, overload condition the transformer will move from ONN to ONF rating so if we select this ONAF also uh, here here uh, you can see this rated this is ONN rating of the transformer 7.5 MBA and uh, this is ONAF rating this is more than this uh, ONN rating here it is the deleted value is used you can define also user defined also so so based on this the transformer uh, mba capacity is changed but what about the what about the transformer impedance so this is today's topic what about the transformer impedance if you go here under this impedance tab uh, initially uh, when the transformer was selected as uh, ONN that means 7.5 MBA that time this impedance was 8.35 percent positive uh, impedance and X by R ratio uh, 13 and accordingly these are calculated percentage X, X percentage R but if you see this transformer impedance here okay uh, uh, let's go back to transformer ONN only you can see this impedance 8.35 percent again change this transformer onf as well where the fan cooling system is there this is the auxiliary fan for for cooling transformer cooling to improve the transformer capacity so go here you can see the same transformer impedance is mentioned which is which is wrong we should not we should not follow this impedance because this is when in rating uh, this impedance is considered based on based on the transformer when in rating 
and not uh, based on the ONAF rating. So you need to you need to change this impedance. Otherwise, your power system study will not be accurate. Your load flow study will uh, get affected. Your short circuit study also. Uh, you need to you need to correct this transformer impedance. You need to update this one. So if you have if you have the transformer impedance, uh, this ONN rating impedance as well as the ONF rating uh, impedance. So that will be the best solution. But if you don't have uh, if you don't have the actual data, suppose your OEM uh, manufacturer, the transformer manufacturer, uh, has provided only the ONN only the ONN rating impedance. So in that case, what to do? Okay let's uh, suppose this uh, this is 8.35 percent uh, with the with the help of uh, what was the transformer rating this is 7.5 this is 7.5 mba this is with the help of one uh, excel file okay so 7.5 mba 7.5 mba transformer rating and percentage impedance this percentage impedance was 8.35 percent 8.35 percent now the transformer rating is uh, this transformer ONAF rating is 9.375 so 9.375 MBA what will be this percentage impedance so it's very simple you, you need to uh, use that uh, unitary method uh, how to calculate this one it's very simple this equals to let's say this divided by this multiplied by 8.35 percent so it will be it will be 10.43 percent so 10.4 percent or if you round figure for 10.44 uh, percent so here you need to here you need to put that value only 10.44 percent now you can see all the values are changed so in this way you can you can convert this uh, positive uh, impedance transformer impedance based on the transformer ratings uh, this is one of the ways and uh, definitely if you have the OEM particular OEM data then it will be uh, accurate and more specifically if you have the transformer test report from there you can get the actual transformer actual value you see during design stage of the transformer you, you will get the transformer data sheet from transformer manufacturer but that is the design value that that will not exactly match with the impedance value after manufacturing of the transformer whenever it is going uh, through that uh, testing procedure let's say in the data sheet you can find that uh, that uh, this onf uh, transformer onf uh, impedance is 10.44 percent but in the data sheet it is the design value whenever after after manufacturing uh, of the transformer after completion of the manufacturing then uh, the test value transformer test value you know that uh, based on the transformer losses uh, so actual actual percentage impedance may be something plus minus so that is that uh, that depends on the uh, uh, obviously the iuc tolerance okay so it should follow the ic tolerance so so that will not be the actual value 10.44 percent there will be some plus or minus uh, and uh, obviously considering the iec tolerance so during the initial stage of the project during design stage you can consider this impedance that's fine but that time that time you need to you need to consider this 
z tolerance here this transformer impedance tolerance let's say this is 10 percent tolerance or let's say this is 7.5 percent based on ic you need to check what is the tolerance allowable for this particular transformer rating so in that case plus minus 7.5 percent tolerance so in this way what ETAP will calculate ETAP will calculate during as you know already during load flow during load flow analysis using ETAP software the positive tolerance the positive tolerance will be considered by ETAP automatically once again during load flow analysis using ETAP software the equipment mainly uh, this transformer positive tolerance that means plus 7.5 percent tolerance that means 10.44 plus this 7 point uh, this tolerance of 7.5 percent so that will be considered but during short circuit uh, uh, study analysis ETAP will automatically adopt the negative tolerance ETAP will consider the negative tolerance that means minus 7.5 percent so 10.44 percent is of the tolerance minus 7.5 percent of this impedance so this is the difference uh, because just to just to consider the worst case scenario whenever you are whenever you are uh, carrying out the power system study that time you need to consider you need to you need to uh, you know um, you need to validate uh, that uh, what what will be the worst uh, condition so based on this philosophy it up will calculate it up will consider the positive tolerance positive tolerance for load flow analysis and negative tolerance for short circuit analysis this basic thing should be uh, kept in mind uh, though it will be reflected in the uh, report if you check the uh, report of that uh, load flow and short circuit there in the input data uh, also will be uh, included in that report so it have generated a report if you check uh, there you can see that uh, this positive tolerance or negative tolerance so that's fine so this is this is applicable for the design stage but whenever the transformer is manufactured already manufactured and you have you are on the advanced stage of the project that time you need to revalidate you need to revalidate uh, with the transformer test report impedance that particular for that particular transformer test uh, report that actual transformer impedance will be there so you need to put here the actual impedance let's say 10.7 percent that uh, that is the actual value but in that case this this tolerance this tolerance should not be considered this should be zero this is one of the uh, uh, key factors uh, sometimes uh, a lot of power system engineers also uh, abort uh, means uh, neglect this or they just overlook this this should be kept in mind that during design stage you can use this tolerance of the transformer but whenever you have that transformer test report then from the test report you need to consider the transformer impedance value here and this tolerance should be zero there should not be any tolerance so that your power system study will be uh, accurate so it will provide this ETAP power system analysis software will provide the actual value based on the actual impedance of the transformer so uh, in this video you have learned how to how to change this how to change this way this ONN rating uh, to ONF ONF rating uh, transformer capacity and based on that how to how to convert the uh, transformer impedance before uh, before carrying out the power system study any load flow or short circuit study as well uh, you need to definitely you need to change this one otherwise it will be erroneous the report uh, that uh, power system analysis will be erroneous that is not expected and 
during design stage you need to consider this uh, tolerance but during final stage of the project you, when you have the guaranteed impedance value that guaranteed transformer losses loss figure uh, that time you should you should replace it this tolerance by zero so there should not be any tolerance of the transformer so this was today's topic if uh, if there is any value addition uh, please like this video for better reach okay thanks for thanks for watching this video